أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لإلا في كوريج إلا فيهم رخلة الشتاء والصيف فليعبدوا رب هذا البيت الذي يطعمهم من جوع وآمهم من خوف I can find out how to pronounce the words correctly. So when I'm reciting, most of the time I say it correctly. I know my accent's not very good, but, <laughs> but you know, I say it anyways. And I've, you know, it took me a while to learn the last 10 surahs of the, of the Quran, but, and still I couldn't recite them to you in order unless you're giving them to me by name. And I could go through all 10 of them. And there's a few others that I started to um, I started to learn actually in the beginning of Ramadan. I watched the Khutbah uh, speech from Ustad Numan Ali Khan, and he was saying, you know, he was saying, learn, learn Surat Al Juma, and then go from there. And well, I I started. It was pretty difficult, and I got through to the I got the first two ayahs done, and Inshallah, I'll be able to get the rest of them. I just need uh, practice, uh, awesome. inshallah, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. I took Shahada in, um, it was September of 2011. When I woke up from the dream that I had, I lay there and I thought to myself that, you know, I had to gather everything together and I said, you know, that was the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And then I, I, I had already learned Shahada and everything, so right there in my bed, I just, without even thinking, I was just, you know, I said, you know, I was like, Ashadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashadu anna muhammadan abduku wa rasuluhu. And then, and then from there. Can you tell us your story? I mean, we've heard it was dead, but I mean, you know, you. Just tell them the dream. Oh, you want to know about my dream? Yes. All right, well. Actually, like in, in the dream, what it was was I just I, I was kind of standing there. It was it was odd because most of my dreams, my I have now since I'm paralyzed, in my dreams my legs hurt. They feel like tree trunks, and I can't move, and I'm I'm in pain because I guess I'm dreaming because I'm in pain. But this time I was just standing there, and then a little a little ar around the way from me, about I say about 20 feet or so away to my left. You know, I was in a desertous area. There were like sand dunes a little. And to my left, there was a group of men gathered around a person who was standing up talking to them. And it was by firelight, because it was, it, was, it was almost nighttime, wasn't quite dark, but it was dark enough for a fire. And they had it going. And you could tell these men were listening to him intently. You know, so I was like, okay, well, this man's very important. And then also to my right, was the crucifix setting up that I had had in my room, but it was it was like life size, and I was sitting there and I'm like, okay, okay, what's going on, you know? And then suddenly the man, he was standing there and he was giving hand gestures. And you could tell he was talking and saying something very important. And well, he had turned to me, and he looked at me and he says, look, he pointed to the crucifix and he said, look, this was a man, a prophet, you know, he'd eat food, drink water go to the bathroom just like every other man. He's not a god, you know, only a prophet. You know, just, you know, follow, follow God, not men. And then I woke up and then it wasn't so long after I woke up and gathered myself. Because I mean, right when he turned to me and talked to me and told me that, I knew right then and there it was the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And then, I mean, it just, I woke up and then, like I said, I just, I had to gather myself to figure like, what just happened and, and that was real. Because at this time, I had been studying about Islam and everything and I even learned the Shahada and, and other things, but I hadn't taken it yet. But then that time, I woke up and I just, right there by myself, I did it, you know. I just try to remain steadfast in the Salah. And of, of course, everyone's mind goes up and down, but it's always there, you know? And I just have to just always have 
dhikr of Allah, you know, just always have, you know, every day as always, astaghfirullah, alhamdulillah, you know, and just, I just stay. And being in this condition that I'm in, it, it's not easy to stay satisfied and happy. I can't do anything for myself. And sometimes if I ask somebody to do something, it'll take them quite a long time. And, and I was never a very patient person, but, you know, after I became Muslim, and I study more and read, I realize, you know, I have sabr now, and I can wait, and I can just, I can calm myself down, and just remember when I, when they take it too long, I just stuck for the law, stuck for the law, stuck for the law, stuck for the law, stuck for the And actually, I had talked to my brother a lot about Islam, and everything, and, and he, he liked it and everything, and I, you know, and I got, I got him to take uh, shahada, actually, and.